Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And before everything, thank you very much for yesterday. Uh, the love from your side was to the moon and back three times. And I hope you were very, very well entertained. And I hope you farmed the skill for all two commanders left, right and center. I could not dodge this moment that we're gaming is selling was a 114, right? Uh, many people ask skill how is was a 114 and since last time we had a video with this tank like last year i made a decision to remake it and to play some um, games with it and you know what <laughs> this tank is one of the worst tanks in the game and it's pretty much you, you are burning your money if you are buying this vehicle honestly speaking it is as bad as it can get the tank accuracy is actually somehow decent whenever you are fully aiming, but it's taking decade to aim. Your DPM is bad. Your speed is far away from being great. Although you have 530 alpha damage, but good luck um, doing something with it. I just want to say that straight <clears throat> into the face that this tank is worth absolutely pile of kaku. I think this is a fair description of this vehicle. So, how we are going to start our journey? I am taking this position at first just to see maybe we are going to see someone crossing through the middle of the field like this. There is a chance we are going to have Waffle or something. And if we would have the situation like this, we would slap him. Also, plus on top of that, there is Kapaza somewhere here near the red line. I cannot do anything. Okay, listen. I need to pay attention into the max map and I need to slap the guys who are playing in the middle. So I believe we are going to be okay. Anyways, what I want to say, and this is very, very important part of all of this. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this tank is not a great tank in the world of tanks. I would not say it is a playable tank in the world of tanks. I would say it's one of the worst tanks the money can buy. I remember my marking session and overall when this tank uh, uh, came, uh, it was it was dreadful experience and I truly mean it. And even though you have a bit of the armor, right? Hip hip hooray. But the whole gameplay of this tank, especially if you are trying to compare something to the meta tanks like, uh, let's say, E75, you are just feeling useless, if I can say so. And plus, on top of that, you need to pay money for it, right? I want to highlight one thing. Now, it might not look so bad, but listen. The most important thing to highlight from all of this, I am using bond ventilation and I am using the bond stabilizer. That being said, this is literally the best equipment which you can use. That stabilizer is most of this tank um, and ventilation is helping for a vehicle as well. I would not even consider putting the hardening unless you are playing in the city map like Himmelsdorf. Skill why are you not using hardening? Because the gun is just simply not reliable, you know? That is the biggest problem of all of this. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No. He's crossing in three, two, one. Watch this. Ah, you know what? This is the best part of all of this. This is the best part of my job. Listen, more Kaku, I talk about the tank, better tank behaves. And it happens on the daily basis. I am presenting you tank, which is just simply Kaku, you know? It's just not a great tank, fellow. Sorry, I cannot say anything else. It's not a great tank. And you know what? The game is proving us bad gun handling, bad aim time. Uh, here you go. You are going to hit every and each shot. No armor. You are going to bounce Jack Pizda. And you are going to high roll T30 as well. That was close, fellas. That was close. That's what I was expecting, you know, considering how much uh, how much of the kaku I am talking about this tank. Anyways, what is the next thing? What do we want to do? We want to say hello for almighty Jack Panzer. Or, as I prefer to call it, Jack Pizda. Can we say hi? Greetings. It's okay. A bit of the quality trade. Ah, I know one more thing. Um, the good part of this tank is the amount of the hit points. But you know what? Uh, I can tell you exactly who is enjoying this amount of the hit points. He does. 
That being said, he will try to slap me without even asking my name and he is saying, Oh, I'm so glad he has 2.4 thousand hit points so I can hit him twice. Absolutely glorious and absolutely amazing. Fellas, I was considering uh, uh, he's going to dance for me, you know, he's going to say, ooh, yeah, he has the right angle, so he will try to dodge or something, but the hashtag never lucky. Now, snapping with this tank is not an option, okay? And I'm saying that not to uh, shitog this tank or something, just snapping isn't a great idea with this vehicle overall, keep this in mind. And I definitely need to highlight this. By the way, this game looks pretty good, right? Uh, this game looks like the tank isn't the biggest pile of caco and it looks uh, somehow decent. But you know what? I believe the round 2 and round 3 will change our opinions. Or alternatively, I will say I clickbaited the title, fellas. I presented this tank as the worst tank in the world of tanks, but in reality it is a hidden gem. It is the best tank. By the way, I must admit one thing. I said to our gaming that I am planning to make a video um, with this tank, you know? And I think we're gaming tweaked RNG bars a bit. Uh, I think this is the last time whenever I am going to say for our gaming I'm going to play with one or another tank, especially when the tank is on sale, if you know what I mean. Beautiful. Um, well, the alpha damage is 660, but unfortunately we low rolled a bit. That's okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, let's go like this. It's okay. I do not really mind whatsoever. He still has one in the mag. I hope he won't be able to penetrate me, but he will. It is completely fine. Now, one thing which I want to highlight as well, we are the gun... Um, we are the armor ghost of this tank, right? And that is important thing to show uh, that it doesn't have anything extraordinary as well. And this is very, very important. I am truly trying to save the buck or two from your side, fellas. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, here you go. So this is the tank's GG page where you can check out how the armor is looking like, right? And armor-wise, fellas, this tank is nothing extraordinary. Even when you are trying to side scrap, as you can see, you can get penetrated straight in the face. Or alternatively, you know, lower plate. Or even worse, the Coppola. You know, there is no such a thing as side scrapping or something with this vehicle. It's simply none. Plus, on top of that, if someone would load the gold ammunition, yeah, it doesn't look great. Actually, with gold, fellas, with gold, it looks like it's better than with AP, you know, which is the weirdest thing. Anyways, armor is not the thing which you can trust on this tank, and I truly want to present you as this tank is. Let's see the scoreboard, and let's be proud with our first spot by the damage. How about that? And fellas, we are back. Look at this beauty. 4,000 damage, 750 assisting damage. I mean, I am proud of myself. I do not know how about you, but look at this beauty. This is glorious. Look at this. We are second by experience. We are first by the damage, fellas, with DPM of the 2,000. You know, a lot of people are saying that the... Um, 34 is kind of outdated tank and it truly really feels like it and you know what is the funny thing of all of this t34 has similar amount of the dpm in fact if you would get the crew back on this tank if you will get yourself ventilation right the T-34 pretty much has better DPM than, uh, than the tier 9 premium tank with better accuracy as well. You know, it, just, just to put it to perspective, you know, how bad this tier 9 is. And I'm truly trying to save uh, and scrap the mm, money, fellas. It's just, it's just not that great, fellas. I really want to highlight it is not that great. First game was awesome, though. I need to give it a credit. Let's go for a second game and let's hope for the best. Cross your fingers for me for open map so you will see this tank in the uh, full beauty and full force of its environment when we are sniping from 500 meters away. Let's go. Okay, Redshire Assault. Listen, this is extremely, extremely good map uh, for us because once again, we are pretty much 
defending the base, which is great. Uh, and we have winning spawn. If our team is going to be smart and they are going to take this, if our team will take this and we will secure the middle, there is no chance for enemies to make any pressure whatsoever and to get involved. And look at this beauty. As you can see, our team is definitely securing this, so enemies won't be able to make pressure, which is absolutely glorious. Um, and I think we are sitting very, very well. High explosive on skill. Why are you loading high explosive? Soon you are going to see that. Um, I changed my mind. Grilla is not in the open field here. And what is my goal and what is my mission? My mission is pretty much to try to slap literally octo bananas. Okay, hi there. Mister, we have a bit of the problem. We have a bit of the issue. You know, 60 TP being angry. Actually, the full platoon of the 60 TP is being angry. But you know what? We are okay. How about lower plate? Kaboom. <laughs> yep. This is this is what I want to highlight about this tank. I'm telling you. This is what you can expect whenever you are playing with this vehicle, fellas. I am 100% uh, I am 100% sure about this, okay? And this is why I am um, this is why I am highlighting as the gun being so 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 bad, you know? I would not say this for no reason whatsoever. I can promise you that. Meanwhile, can we eliminate this guy from the game? Cupola, shot RNG, please bless my... Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. I mean, I did not really want to overpick because there is a Fosh looking at me as well, right? So I need to be smart in the end of the day. Plus on top of that, obviously, we have a Cupola and uh, good luck dealing with that. Meanwhile, Fosh in the open field. Can we slap the Fosh? I'm not even going to hit this guy because I have the side of the tank destroyer. So that would be kind of silly. Uh, to go for it. I'm trying to uh, to hide my cupola as much as I physically and possibly can and this is why it is so great to uh, hide cupola with a gun, you know, because they cannot do absolutely anything or they can hit your gun and do damage in the same time, which could happen, right? And as you can see, he just did that. Beautiful shot. Now, I am going to take three days, three nights until I will have a better angle and I'm going to try to hit his cupola. I even stick my gun inside of his cupola, pretty much. Yeah, you see, I am very happy we have a game like this. I am super happy and I'm in fact flabbergasted about this. Just to show that it is um, not only uh, laughs and uh, shits and giggles whenever we are talking about the tank like this, right? We really hit him. Without gun we managed to hit him. Wow, wow, wow. What a shot. Skill, are you excited on hitting Waffle, which is one of the biggest tanks in the game and one of the least armored tanks in the game? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Twice in a row without gun. This tank is the best tank in the world of tanks. You can cry as much as you want. If you cannot make this tank work, it's your fault. This tank has nothing to do with it. Gun is awesome. Armor is awesome. And remember, just play baseball and you are going to be all right, fellas. Okay. I believe enough of sarcasm at this point. All we need to do... Look at the aim. Look at the aim time. Boop. We can actually hit shots like this. This is very, very impressive. I am, I am surprised in the most positive way, fellas. What a session we have. I am spotted. It doesn't really change anything, does it? Another Leo sniping here from the back. I will take my time and I will miss my shot because I did not fully aim. And here you go. That's what we have. 2.5 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage definitely could be worse. Meanwhile, I have a feeling he's going to sit here. If I need to guess exactly where he is sitting, I would say he is right there. Beautiful, very, very nice. 3,000 damage, 600 assisting damage, not bad, could be worse. Okay, fellas, let's see. We are enjoying our second class and 3.5 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage, fellas. Two times in a row, I am top player by the damage. How about that? 
Okay, never mind. Uh, cancel, ca- clip it out, clip it out. We need to, we need to cut this out, fellas. Never mind. Second by the damage, first by experience. Sixty-three thousand profits as well, and a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. So far, we are doing very, very well, and I hope the next game is going to be um, significantly worse because we are playing uh, for four point five thousand with this tank, and it doesn't deserve that. By the way, just to show overall performance with this tank, I play for 150 games with this tank um, we had 2.7 thousand average damage and 600 assisting damage um uh, performance, right? And I was playing with a bond equipment, I was tryharding, and I was trying to do my best. And now, we are just simply having a good session. What can I say? I'm happy. Let's go for a third one. Okay, fellas, we are back with Studzanke Standard Battle. So this map lately got reworked. Greetings. This map lately got reworked, right? And pretty much uh, the map became significantly more flexible in a way that you can make a play. Uh, with the heavy tanks, it's quite straightforward. You are going to the heavy line and you are trying to play hold down to the certain extent, right? Um, and with the lightly armored tanks, you have a choice as from uh, uh, obviously sniping from the back or taking this position. There is bushes over there where you can punish uh, um, people trying to make pressure over there or overall sitting somewhere near those houses here, right? So this is all play or obviously making a play and going aggressively like this. It depends on what you are looking for and what do you want to do. Meanwhile, I have a feeling that Bizonte is going to get slapped, fellas. I have a feeling Bizonte will get slapped. But before that, I will take a second, I will take a moment, and I am going to pre-aim somewhere here. Bizonte, how are you doing this fine day? Fellas, I have I have a feeling that Bizonte is a dancer. I have a feeling Bizonte is a dancer. How you should play the game? How do you want me to play the game in this situation? Well, unfortunate, there is 14 enemies, fellas. I repeat, there is 14 enemies. Mmm, STI. Do I want to make pressure here? I'm trying to figure out for a moment how do I want to how do I want to play this game and what we're supposed to do. Mr. Jack Tiger, how are you doing this fine day? Three, two, one. This is very hard shot. Pretty much impossible to hit, but it's worth a try anyways. We just need to be patient in this situation. I am just simply waiting until they are going to go up like this. And whenever they are going to go up like this, we will have a decent angle. Or at least I am hoping for that. Patience, relax, take it easy, and just simply let's wait for enemy mistakes. That's the best play which we uh, can do. I mean, overall, it wasn't, wouldn't be uh, the biggest problem to take this position and try to snipe someone over there, but, you know, we are fine. Meanwhile, while I was paying uh, attention to the other side, Lynx made a decision to go through the open field. I did not saw that one coming, and I did not expect it, but it is how it is. It's okay. Let it be. Let it be. If he is going to go for seconds, which there is a, a tiny possibility, we are going to slap him once again. Or... We are going to slap him, I suppose to say. Okay, can we hit this guy over there? Let's take our time. Until until I am going to aim, he's going to be gun. And snapping with this tank is just not that great. You know what? Pay attention to this lover. This lover doesn't have radio. Or maybe his radio took a hit. That's why we could not do absolutely anything. Very, 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 very hard game. I just do not want to be aggressive, fellas. I just do not want to be aggressive. You know what? I changed my mind. Hold on. How about this? If we would go a bit more aggressively here. Greetings. Oh, scorpion sniping from the back. Hi, I'm still aiming. I know. <laughs> yeah, this gun. Um, this gun is awesome, fellas. I really want to have a bad game with this vehicle at this point. I truly want to have a bad game. The main reason being why am I dreaming about this and why would I like to have a bad game to begin with is because I want to show that gun is definitely not reliable of this tank, you know? That's what that's what I want to do. I really want to show that gun isn't the finest and it is not good by any shape or any form. But you know what? I cannot uh, I cannot 
avoid uh, or I supposed to say I should I cannot miss a bit of the dance party over there. Can you blame me for this? I doubt it. I don't really think you can. Okay. With the next hit, we should be able to eliminate the STI if we are going to roll him for average roll, which obviously I will try to do. By the way, links relocated to the other side. I'm very, very well aware of that. And you know what? Kaboom. Just like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This guy is down to fartable and potentially STI is down to fartable as well. How we can do this and how we can eliminate them from the game. Relax, take it easy. Do you remember weak shoulders? This guy knows about the weak shoulders. I can promise you that. I can promise you that, that this gentleman knows about my weak shoulder problem. Should have went to the gym and hit the shoulders. How about this? Stop moving, you son of the banana. He was moving like this. It's okay. It's fine. We have all time in the game. Our mission is straightforward. All we need to do, we need to try to penetrate him and we need to try to send him to the garage. That's all we need to do. If I would make a bit more pressure, I, I understand that this side is falling, fellas. You do not need to say absolutely anything here. I know, I get it, I see it. It's okay. It's okay. Beautiful. I really wanted to eliminate this guy from the game. Skill, why you do not care about the 283? I just don't. I don't really think he is as dangerous tank as STI is, you know? That is the biggest um, and the most important highlight. Okay, how about if we would go for a base defense? Do I want to go for a base defense? I mean, not really. Honestly, not really. Let me think. If I would keep making pressure, I would I would craft a better angle here. Listen, I think I made my decision. Um, what I want to do, I want to have a better angle here. I want to slap this Jack Tiger or Scorpion G. For Scorpion G, I could load high explosive. Device. Let's do that. A high explosive one, three, two, one. Now, beautiful. Six hundred in the face. Very, very nice. We still have time, and we still have plenty of the options to do the things. I just don't think going to for a base defense is the right choice. You know what is the, my biggest disappointment of all of this? I'm making this tank work. I mean, sure thing, I'm try harding and sure thing, I'm trying to play well. It's not like, you know, I am trying to fail with this tank. And please just pay attention how much am I aiming with this vehicle, you know? I'm aiming to the maximum. Like, literally to the maximum. And keep this in mind, I have the... Um, True reticle motor, however you would call this, right? Where we are seeing the right size of the reticle. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Uh. So without it, the reticle would be size of the moon. He's going to pick like this. And five. Four, three, two, one. Pick. Okay. It's okay. Let's take our time. We have all time in the world of tanks. Who is spotting me? Do you want to say there is a gap somewhere over there or what? Or that scorpion is simply having good enough camo so it, uh, it is holding itself. Because this is weird. Okay, let's try to go like this. He's afraid of me. Good. He should be. Okay, Scorpion G, high explosives on. How many HP Vaka has? He is down to fartable, literally. So, uh, we are okay, and we can shoot high explosives to this guy as well. Who never been spotted? Um, T-30. Eh, he might be a Vaka, or he is sitting somewhere in the back and sniping from the bushes. Doesn't really change anything. This guy is dead. He be a hooray. Uh, Jack Tiger, let's load gold, let's take our time to aim, 3, 2, 1, now, beautiful aim, very, very nice, T-30 is a faka, like I said, and all we need to do, we need to get another shot here, I made this tank work, I made this tank work, skill, uh, why are you disappointed, the problem is that my goal of today's video was not to make this tank work, but to say this tank is shit, you know, 
this is this is the biggest highlight of all of this this is what i was aiming for and this is what i was dreaming about no it's okay look great game overall definitely no complaints no regrets solid performance a bit of the try harding skill as well uh i probably wasn't talking as much what i am doing in this battle overall and i was more likely playing and overall we can say that about every and each game which we had uh and you know what i failed to do only one job which i had and my job was to make uh to show how bad this tank is and i failed at my job fellas i'm extremely disappointed and please forgive me for this this is just disgusting 3.5 thousand damage 700 assisting damage hip hip hooray 70 uh, 94 000 profits as well obviously from the missions and from the boosters over there but still very 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 solid performance and look at this, uh, it is insanity. We played with this tank for 3.7 thousand damage and 700 assisting damage. I just had one of those sessions. I'm sorry, fellas, I, I, I made this tank work. One thing what I want to show how average players are playing with this tank or not average, but how the best players are playing with this tank. If you would pay attention, looking into the any other tier nine tank, this performance would be disgusting. I want to highlight this. There is one guy who is playing with a, for a 3000 DPG, fellas. One guy who is playing for a 3000 DPG in the whole September. And this guy probably is a freak. It is his name, okay? Uh, I think if I need to guess, he's 60% player. Uh, this would be my prediction. 63% player. And he made this tank work to 3000 damage. If you would compare anything else, let's say, let's say, doesn't really matter. STI, for example, let's see STI, right? With STI, you would see there is plenty, probably there is people with 4,000 DPG, I would guess, who are good in the game and who are doing the things. Okay, no 4,000 uh, no, um, 4, DPG, but there is people who are playing for 3.3,000, uh, 3,000, 3, 3.2,000, 3.1,000. What I'm trying to highlight by saying this, it's just not... Uh, this tank is not great, okay? It just simply isn't. And I try to do my best in order to show you that it is it is not the finest, but I failed. It's okay, fellas. It's okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And once again, thank you very much for yesterday. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Thank you and see you very, very soon. Skills out for today. Peace.